Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 2nd February 2024. My name is T S V Raghavan and I live in Chennai Tamil Nadu India This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube Har Dam H A R D A N Har Dam Hari Bol T R S U E Nectar N E C T A R Nectar In this particular vlog in all my previous videos we have been discussing and analyzing about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on the material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video in this vlog is no exception to that rule in fact it is a mere continuation of all that we have been trying to do in all my previous videos kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of all my previous present and future videos so let us continue with the topic of discussion for today's video in the past few videos <clears throat> we have been trying to analyze the actual working type nature and power of a term called mind which plays a perennial role in the life and the psyche of every human living entity whether male or female in a lifetime in this material world this particular term is known as mind besides this we have also tried to connect it directly or indirectly with the destiny and the karma of every human living entity whether male or female because by now we have ultimately realized that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction sooner or later what we sow so we reap if we do positive acts we get positive results if negative acts then negative results and 
if indifferent acts in different results this is no exception for any human living entity whether male or female in any lifetime in this material world every human living entity is equipped with an instrument called mind which helps him or her store some karma or destiny of his or her own this karma plays a large role in the life of every human living entity whether male or female in this particular birth or in the other birth thus life as an infinite cycle or cycle of a repeated birth and death in this material world goes on and on and on this happens till one day that particular living entity whether male or female gets fed up of all this and decides to go spiritual to seek self realization once he or she becomes self realized the next step is to get liberated from this endless chain of infinite births and deaths in various species and subspecies once such a liberation is achieved the ultimate aim for every human living entity whether male or female is to get delivered to the supreme personality of god head while discussing this process we also talked about various case histories which would authenticate this particular state uh, statement and vouch for the truthful and authenticity of this particular statement in my yesterday's video we began talking about one very interesting case study of a protagonist called nagendra reddy in that process we saw how a boy who was born in a very respectable and educated family worked and studied and achieved brilliant results in his school and the college which was none other than the indian institute of technology madras this guy nagendra reddy hailed from the city of hyderabad which is the capital of another state called andhra pradesh this guy was so brilliant and meritorious that he got a job in some very reputed firm as an engineer after graduation not only that he also started his own business and ended up with indifferent results in that business after some time he relocated or uh, or located to united kingdom 
where he began working in another firm. Even here, he started and achieved success in his own business. But despite such extraordinarily positive credentials, alas, this Nagin Reddy had a flaw in his character. He was a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of personality. He had a multiple personality disorder in him which was inbuilt in him right from his childhood. He was so possessive of his own sister that he began committing murders of unsuspecting youth who had any touch with that girl, not physical but only verbal. After committing two murders, one in United Kingdom and one in Bangalore, he ended up in a Bangalore prison where he befriended the underworld of South India. There he decided to have another nefarious and negative career. He became a contract killer. He escaped from the prison through a prison hospital and became a regular wanted criminal in the eyes of law. However, by this time, even the South Indian underworld was disillusioned by the reputation of this Nagendra Reddy. Fearing an ultimate arrest in Bangalore the second time, this guy fled to the city of Tirupati in the same state of Andhra Pradesh from where he hid. We stopped our case history yesterday there. Now we will start from that point to ultimately find out how the mind of such a Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde works. Because Nagendra Reddy was extremely brilliant and well qualified, without the knowledge of the unsuspecting society, he got a job as a lecturer in one of the private colleges in Tirupati. However, because he could not shirk away his own negative background, this guy continued with his crimes on the sly. Not only that, he also managed to keep in touch with his ex-underworld friends. One of them tipped off the Bangalore police, which in turn tipped off the Andhra Pradesh police. Fearing being arrested in Andhra Pradesh, this guy fled to various towns in Andhra Pradesh to avoid such capture by the police. Nevertheless, he avoided his own home city of Hyderabad. Now two police, one the Scotsman Yard of England and the Bangalore police were looking for him. 
the squatter lawyer wanted to try him for the murder that he had committed in united kingdom where as bangalore wanted to try him for several murders and crimes and for escaping his prison sentence in bangalore once Nevertheless, this guy, Nagendra Reddy, found it convenient to relocate to the same city of Bangalore where he felt that he can lay low. However, thanks to a tip-off by some other under world crony and informer the police again arrested nagendra reddy and put him behind bars this time nagendra reddy waited his old under world friends in the prison instead he began leaning on the unsuspecting civil prisoners and under under trials who were weak enough to get scared by this nagendra reddy he began extorting money from the same unsuspecting prisoners however one day he got ill and grudgingly the same bangalore police had to admit him to a jail hospital here nagendra reddy stabbed one security personnel to death and escaped again now the whole police of karnataka and the pradesh and the other two southern states plus the national government was out looking for him after all he had killed a police officer however this stupidity on the part of nagendra reddy did not deter him from earnestly devoting his own life to his nefarious activities this guy continued committing crimes of all sorts and making money nagendra reddy was intelligent and wise enough to realize that as far as he was concerned there was no going back to the civilized society however a few months later one evening the police in bangalore got a very important tip off from one of the underworld figures the informant told them that this nagendra reddy will be coming in a tata sumo vehicle to a particular spot at a particular time to have a meeting with another underworld figure and to plan some crime the police of bangalore acted fast this time they did not want to take any chances they knew by then that this guy was a brilliant and very deadly and dangerous psychopath at the right time a white tata sumo appeared in the vicinity of the same area 
the police got ready. There was one passenger in that Tata Sumo and there was probably one driver. The police stopped this vehicle and challenged that passenger to surrender unconditionally. That passenger was none other than Nagendra Reddy. Instead of surrendering, this same brilliant, excellent student and IIT engineer plus hardened murderer and criminal opened fire at the Bangalore police instead of surrendering. The police promptly retaliated, killing Nagendra Reddy on the spot. When this happened, grudgingly, the same Bangalore police heaved a sigh of relief. A very dangerous criminal had had his own life put to a macabre end. This guy was rushed to the hospital from where, after getting officially declared dead, his body was transferred to the mortuary. The irony was that the police was baffled on seeing this guy. He was hardly 30 years old when he died from the bullets of the Bangalore police. The police could not believe this. Such a young promising a lad who could have done wonders in the legitimate and decent society of any country anywhere in the world had to meet such a dangerous and a deadly end. They promptly informed Nagendra Reddy's parents and family. Those people by now had got so fed up of Nagendra Reddy that they refused to claim the body of Nagendra Reddy from the law. They said that in week in equivocally they will declare or they hereby declare that the Nagendra Reddy who was born in their decent family was certainly not this young man who had been killed by the Bangalore police. They said they did not want to have any relationship with this guy who had ashamed him and the family and had put the decent family to unwanted and extreme embarrassment. Nagendra Reddy's body was cremated by the Bangalore police. This shows how the mind of a living entity works sometime. There are several cases where it pulls the same living entity in opposite directions in such a way that despite starting a very promising career, the same person inadvertently gets 
sucked into the vortex of the dark negative forces whether this guy likes it or not this intrigues every student of psychology who wants to study such case histories the author called livingston stevenson who invented or discovered the character called dr jekyll and mr hyde was certainly a genius probably that was precisely the reason why this guy could create such a character of human living entities who can swing both ways in every lifetime it is said that every one of us has positive indifferent and negative forces working within each one of us goodness passion and ignorance are present in every one of us it is rather unfortunate that in this category or in this diver diversification of a various modes of material nature 50% or majority of 100% is ignorance 40% or so is passion and only 5 to 10% is good in other words goodness in every one of us is in a minority it is just like how this society has been divided into three categories 75% of the multitude is a vegetative type 20% is attracted to and gravitates towards the dark negative forces of this material world and only 5% can claim to be totally positive we all must realize this and pray fervently fervently that we must always try to bring out the positivity in us so that we become upright citizens of the society and sooner or later take a detour or a journey towards spiritualism even in ego there are three types of ego false ego ego and super ego false ego is when we identify ourselves with this body which is actually a capsule in which the original spirit soul of every living entity is trapped this capsule of a body has four layers from the material world and so it is totally material the next type of ego is when which is when we identify with our actual spirit soul 
and the best ego is when we identify ourselves as a part and parcel of the super soul and super whole we must always aim at getting self realized enough to realize that we are actually that spirit soul or a part and parcel of the spirit whole this is all i wanted to talk about in this particular video today kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this case history please give me your own expert opinions thoughts ideas and views so that i may blend everything together for the sake of this society before concluding let me remind you that i am also a published author with amazon kindle and paperback i write on spiritual realm fiction and assorted subjects spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject till we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv raghavan